I'm going to do a demonstration of the powder tracking feature that the Press Monitor 3 has. Now this is a interesting feature because, I'm going to go ahead and power the unit on, it uh, does not have a sensor for the powder in the powder measure, but it will keep track of it for you. Now the method that it does that with is uh, it's going to require a scale, and I'll show you how to set that. So I'm going to go ahead and go into Specify Session, and I am going to go to specify charge weight. I'm going to say that I'm loading 6.5 grains. Okay. Now, it, once you specify a charge weight, it enables the powder tracking feature. So it's going to now ask me, do I want to add powder to the measure? And I'm going to say yes, yes I do. So it's going to ask me what my scale unit is. Um, preferably you've got a scale with some decent accuracy because you really the more accurate it is the, the better it's going to be able to tell you what you have and I'm going to say my scales in grams okay so you, you can there's different ones here you can use you can do grains grams ounces pounds or kilograms so I'm going to say it's grams now the concept is that you weigh your powder container on a scale and it's probably not going to be a reloading scale maybe more like a uh, kitchen scale that can handle a full powder container so you might be looking at a pound and a half or you know a pound and a quarter or something but in this case I'm just gonna hold down this button and the fa the more you hold it the faster it will go so it'll let you get to larger numbers pretty fast now I'm gonna go ahead and get up to say 750 grams which may be a lot of powder I'm not sure I kinda over overdid it so okay so I'm gonna say my powder container is now 750 grams, okay, and then I'm going to hit ignore. Now, powder container after weight. At this point, I would take the container, I would dump as much powder in the measure as I want, and then I'm going to weigh the container again after I've dumped powder in the measure. And it will actually calculate the difference, which is the weight of the powder. So I'm going to say, okay, this still weighs 200 grams. And you're not going to have numbers as even as this when you do it with a real scale, but okay so it's gonna say are the values correct and if I say yes it's now added 8487.7 grains of powder to the measure now also notice what it did with the rounds it's looking at by 6.5 grains per round and it's calculating how many rounds I can load before I run out of powder now you don't want to let that get to zero because honestly you always want to have at least an inch of powder in your measure above that baffle so that it meters evenly so I'm gonna go ahead and press ignore to skip by this and it's saying you want to exit specify gesture and I'm gonna say yes and notice that the uh, middle two statistics are now PMRD which is powder measure rounds and then PMGR which is the powder measure grains now I'm gonna start simulating some loading and one thing you'll know is that it won't count until you're actually producing rounds so when this goes from 0 to 1 you'll see that the actual PMGR number is now going down by the 6.5 grains each time. you see that the PMRD is also going down. Now this works real conveniently with a powder measure reminder that you can set inside the setup that says if my PMGR my powder measure grains falls below 1500 grains start reminding me and it will give you a little beep on the screen to let you know that that's occurred the um, the other thing you can do I'll show you what happens if you go back into specify session let's say you're done with this it will remember your powder across sessions which is great you can turn the unit off and then come back a couple of weeks later or a couple of days later if you've got more to load in fact let's just go ahead and show that so we've got 8449 grains in there if you hold the minus and plus unit powers off so we're gonna come back it's been a couple days we're ready to load again and we're gonna do the same thing we're gonna I'm gonna skip by these faster and I'm gonna specify session and um, this time I'm gonna load five grains of powder now, it remembered that we still have that 8448 
0.7 grains of powder in the measure and it's asking me what's the current state of the measure. Do I want to say okay yeah I left the powder in there which would be this right here or no I emptied the measure and I want to start fresh. So you got a choice. You can either empty it and start fresh or you can say yeah I still left that powder in there. And if you empty it you can still go through that same process of weighing your container, dumping new powder, weighing it again, and it'll add that much. In fact, if I want to do that right now, if I keep what I have, I can still add powder to it if it was getting short and needed a little more. So that's how the powder tracking feature works. If you have any questions about it, please use the contact support link in the upper right-hand corner of our website. It's PressMonitorDevice.com. Have a great day. Thanks.